Hello, everybody, and welcome to the backstage. My name is Tom Lally with Music Compound, and today I'm joined by Clark here at Pritchard's Piano. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be with you. So we're going to be talking about beginner pianos. Like a lot of times, people will come to us and say, "My son or daughter is taking piano lessons. What kind of piano or keyboard uh, should I get?" So thank you so much for coming on and helping us make that decision. Sure, appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about Pritchard's, and then we'll talk about you know what you would recommend for for beginners. Well, uh, this store opened in 1967, so this year it's 52 years. Awesome. And it opened as an organ store only back then with one or two pianos. Now we have about 175 pianos and no organs. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. uh, interesting, uh, the market has changed a lot. Yeah, yeah. Getting started, I guess we should start with, should I get a piano or should I get a keyboard? What do you recommend? Well, a lot of teachers prefer a real piano, although um, some will say a weighted 88 key keyboard is good, so we carry both. Um, our acoustic pianos start about $700, and that includes an in-store tuning on the piano before it's delivered. It also includes a free complimentary delivery, uh, local, ground oh, wow. floor. Okay. Yeah. Ground floor. Yeah. So by the time you pay <laughs> delivery, yeah, by the time you pay delivery and tuning, now you're about $400, so you're buying the piano for about $300. Okay. Uh, and then we also give you a three-year trade-up full trade-up. So if you paid $700 for the piano, we give you that back when you go to a baby grand or a new piano, etc. Um, and also in that same price range, we carry the Roland, which is 88 key weighted uh, feel of a piano. So it's a keyboard, um, that Roland? Keyboard, okay. yes. And $699, so it's right in that same price. There's no tuning with that. You can plug in headphones if you own some, mm -hmm. uh, those kind of things. So there's two options that they start with. And both of those would give the student a good feel of a real piano. So when they come into a recital and they're sitting at a, a fine instrument, uh, they'll not notice a lot of difference. Uh, even the Roland, because it's very much like a real piano in the touch. Gotcha. So when looking at a piano, um, what should we expect the budget to be? Or a keyboard? Like what, so uh, me as a parent, you know, I want to get my kids started with piano or keyboard. What should I expect my budget to be? Usually, I mean, the ones we sell are $6.99 up. Okay. And, and digital pianos go from that up to about 12000 So if some people want a nicer looking instrument in their home. Gotcha. And uh, the better the keyboard, uh, digital piano, 699 up, are going to give the student a good experience. Because if they buy something lesser, uh, like my daughter, I got her a Chinese made flute about 20 years ago, and it just broke three times, and it was mm -hmm. not a good ex not a good experience for her. And some kids get a plastic keyboard. I know it's more affordable in some ways, but you'll end up they won't take anymore because they don't like the sound of it. Or they yeah. say my teacher's piano sounds a lot better. So mm -hmm. we try to encourage them to get a fine instrument, even mm -hmm. if it's only seven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. No, I love that because I think that that speaks to this idea of. You don't, when it comes to your kid's education, when it comes to your kid's love of music, um, it's not where you want to skimp at the beginning. Right. You know, uh, I, I get a lot of mailers and coupons and all these different places that are offering, like you said, $100, $200 keyboards. Um, but the sound, I mean, I, I played some of the pianos and keyboards in here and just, wow, like I just fell in love with playing the piano again, uh, just being around some of these beautiful instruments. It does make a difference. Tell me a little bit about how do I pick a keyboard or a piano in a room of 125. So obviously budget will play one, one, one degree in this, but what are some sounds that we should listen for or kids can listen for to help them give us a toolbox or a vocabulary of words to help a kid describe um, what they might be hearing? Because I remember the first time I came in to pick a piano, I would play different pianos and this one would sound one way to me and this one would sound another way and then finally I just said this one sounds the best. Are there some words that parents can give their kids that help them describe what they're hearing so they can better articulate why they like a particular piano over another? Good question. In digitals, there's a lot of difference as there is in acoustic regular okay. pianos. Um, basically, they want to listen to the tone and see if it's mellow when you play it soft, like okay. warm sounding. Okay. And as you hit the keys harder, it's not only going to get louder, but it's going to get brighter. So you don't necessarily want a bright piano all the time, mm -hmm. and some of them are that way. Mm -hmm. But if you play Claire de Lune or uh, Verlis or whatever, you want it kind of warm to start with, but as you get into it, you want it brighter and louder, and that's what they do. And that's true with real pianos, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of acoustic pianos sound bright, or they sound kind of muffled. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They do. So we, we take every piano here, whether it's the $700 one, and we, we tune it, we voice it, 
and we have two Steinway techs here on staff that actually take care of our pianos, and then they're the ones that come out and tune the piano. Uh, and so they can adjust the piano and make it the best it will ever be mm -hmm. before you get it. Gotcha, I love that. How about touch, feelings? Do different pianos feel different? They do. Um, usually if a piano is a brighter sound, it feels lighter in the action, mm -hmm. but actually an acoustic piano is about 56 grams of weight at middle C. So they're all pretty close to that standard. Okay. But if the piano is warm, too warm or muffled, you'll feel like it's harder because you have yeah. to hit it harder to get it brighter. Mm -hmm. So those are the things you want to look for so you can express yourself in all, all genres of music. Whether you're a beginner or not, if it's a tinny sound, it just doesn't lend itself to being a good sound. Gotcha, perfect. Well, Clark, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to leave, any piece of advice or any resources you want to share uh, with our audience? Well, of course, we'd love to have you come see us here. We, we are laid back. Um, I only wore a tie for this today. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't need to, but uh, we're a laid back company and we just are all about service and making sure that we treat you the same, like we have single moms that come in to buy a piano here, mm -hmm. just a $600 piano or $700 piano. And we have the Sarasota Orchestra that bought a Steinway concert grant from us, what, about two years ago. So we cover 175 pianos, every price range, every shape, size, color that you desire for your home. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for checking it out. For more information, you can go find Pritchard's online. You can also find information at musiccompound.com. We hope this was helpful and you know where to buy the musical instruments for your loved ones here in Sarasota. For all your music lesson needs, head over to Music Compound. We have a location on Cattlemen in downtown Sarasota. And of course, you can visit us at musiccompound.com.